Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a Zara haul. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Carla and on this channel, I share videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, then please subscribe down below. So, like I just mentioned, I am going to be sharing with you guys some things that I got from Zara. I did start opening the box and then I was like, you know what, let me share a haul. Even though I'm trying to like not step away from hauls, but I don't know, I'm trying to like do different things, like maybe show how I style pieces, but it's kind of hard because I also want to share the items that I get and I want to share the links and I want to share like a little more information on the pieces that I have. So I feel like the only way to really do that is by creating a haul. So yes, let's start off actually with just a perfume. So this is the Zara Ebony Wood is what it's called. Let's see if it'll focus. So this is called the Zara Ebony Wood and I just got a roll on. This was $5.90. I've mentioned this before, especially when I'm like purchasing fragrances. Um, if I can get like sample sizes, if I can get roll-ons, I'll start that way just to kind of see how the items smell. And this one smells so good. It's like musky almost, like, oh, it's so good. I got it on my nose, but that's okay because I don't mind smelling this all day. It smells so nice. Let's see if it like gives a little bit of an explanation because some some fragrances will tell you what it smells like all it says is a collection created by joe loves that moment of freedom and carefree adventures that are about to begin i can't like i don't know like oh, like it's so musky if you're into like by the fireplace i think it's called by um the replica brand mason margella's fragrances um it's like in that aisle like the warm musky not necessarily spicy but it just smells so good like it smells so good so if you're looking for a fragrance i would recommend that one um that's really all i've taken out of the box this is the box right here guys if you're wondering so I'm pulling out from here I'm just opening this box so I got this dress and to be honest when I got it it was definitely for the color like look at how beautiful this color is I just pictured this paint posted um, not posted but um I pictured this paired with gold accessories like what this color is just everything and then it's like a mini skirt right here and it's a little bit longer right here I got this in a size medium um yeah in a US medium this okay so I like it's it's gonna be short like I know it's short for sure I know it's short for sure but like I'm almost like I'm not okay with it but I almost am tempted to like keep it just in case even if it's short um oh it matches like really nice with my nails I have these like purple nails I don't know if it's gonna focus anyways um it matches really well with my nails but I don't know I think I'm gonna keep it anyways I need to lose some weight so I've been saying this pretty much the last three years on uh, not not three the last two years on my channel um, but I really need to I'll probably keep this because I just love how this looks like I love the color I love how it looks on my skin so yeah I'll probably be keeping this right here um, and I love that it's satin I love anything satin like it just looks so good and it's easy it's quick to throw on and you just do so much with it all right so 
my battery is gonna die so let me go change my battery I just went to change my battery and I could smell this like throughout the room and all I did was uncap it like it's insane how good that smells so let's move on to this next dress um something about it like when I saw it on the site I saw this piece right here and it just reminded it reminded me of when I used to wear things like this and we're talking like early 2000s did I wear it in the night maybe late 90s early 2000s so this was more of like like a memory for me so I saw this and I was like okay I have to get it and it's like this um baby blue kind of I would call it baby blue, sage, baby blue sage ribs dress. Um, it has this button detail right here. I almost want you to see, look at that ribbed detail. Like, do you guys see that? It's so beautiful. It has like this slit right in the front, right here. I got this in a size medium and I'm just here for it like I'm here for it I'm already thinking summer we're always from summer definitely just turned winter and these when is it usually January and February is very very cold um, but I'm already thinking summer so I saw this and I was like yes again something that would pair beautifully with gold but I think I'm gonna pair it like I think I'm gonna try something a little different it might be a bit much so like you know how sometimes you have an image in your head but it just doesn't come out like the way you see it in your head when you put it on and you're like in real life it just that image just doesn't come through in your outfit so I'm gonna try something a little different with this dress uh, just to wear it like in the winter or spring months so we'll see if it works we'll see I'm laughing because it's pretty different um but yeah that is this dress oh you know what before my battery was dying I was showing you guys this jumpsuit which I did try on I got this in a size small don't ask me why don't ask me actually I know why I bought it in a size small because it was the only size left and it was labeled oversized so I thought okay if it's labeled oversized then maybe it would fit me and it's a no like it's so tight on me like my pro I don't even want to say problem areas because I love my body but where I need more material in clothing is usually my hips and my thighs like that area and that is where this fits me a bit tighter I love the detail on this like do you guys see that shoulder so you get like that little bit of side boob going on um, but it just didn't fit like I was hoping this would fit do you see this color like this color is just stunning like I'm tempted to almost keep it just so that when I like when I do lose weight I can have it almost like that dress but then is that like a hoarder is that a hoarder trait let me know down below is am I hoarding is this me trying to hoard things I don't like to return that's something about me I like something about returning like it's I don't know I don't want to say it's a hassle but it is a hassle so I sometimes try to like keep items just because I don't want to return it and then I try to play myself pretty much or tell myself things that will help me keep it but I don't know I don't know cuz I really like this and I I don't want to return it lose the weight and then be able to fit it but can't get the item again like that's where I struggle but it has like this stretchy detail right here like I said it's oversized do you see it's like a jumpsuit the bottoms it's like long it's so cute I just wish it did fit me I really do wish it did fit me but right now it doesn't it does not so next what did we get I got this what size did I get I got this in a medium large wait I could have sworn I got these in a small medium when it comes to ribbed dresses I like to get them a little smaller but I guess I got this oh it is what it is 
um i got this in a medium large and it was just the vibe for me i've said this throughout my channel i love wearing turtlenecks like i just love it and do you see this high neck rib detail if i wanted to for layering purposes i could layer this with like a higher neck turtleneck i'll have the sleeves but it almost gives texture in a sense like even though with the ribs you get the texture but it almost gives texture when you wear a long sleeve under this because then you'll see the end of the dress and then you'll have the turtleneck if that makes sense and then with the turtleneck being higher this will kind of just sit here in the high neck i don't know like I just think texture and just I don't know I like to dress things and style things different from how you can get it so that's what I saw with this and it's a black dress like you can do so much with black dresses I can just wear it for what it is or I can just style it up and that's just it I'm just do you see it just stretches so much I do wish I had gotten this I do wish I got this in a, a small medium but it's okay we will make it work so that is this dress and I got it in this beautiful like royal electric blue color like do you guys I can't I cannot I'm like in love with this color this is actually I'll be honest and it does have like this you can almost see it more with the blue you guys see like that ruffle detail love it when I saw this color, so I went on the Zara site. I have not shopped Zara in a while because for myself, I've shopped for other people. For myself, I have not shopped on Zara for a while because one, when I go in the stores, the lines are outrageously long. Like it doesn't even make sense how long the lines are. And then I don't know, I just wasn't, I wasn't really feeling the things on Zara. Like mango has nice things h&m has nice nice things and i've just been shopping on different sites zara just wasn't calling me but i went on because i hadn't been in a while and i was looking at these colors like these color dresses because i have this one with like the puff sleeve and every time i wear it i'm just like zara did that with this dress like they came through on this dress like that other dress that i have so I saw this and I saw that it was ribbed and I was like, yes, I have to get it. And it almost feels similar. Like there's some weight to this dress. It was originally $35.90. I believe I paid, if I'm not mistaken, 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, that is why I picked these up. One, because I love the look and the shape of it. But also because I knew that just based off of the pictures, I knew that I was going to get, if not the same exact quality, similar quality to the last dress that I picked up from Zara. So the next three things I'm gonna share with you guys are, I almost wanna turn this light down a little cause it's a bit. All right, so the next three things, ooh, look at that catch. The next three things that I wanna share with you guys are fragrances again. These were $5.90 each. You get this one, um, which is the Nude Collection. You get this one, which is the Minimal Collection. I think it goes like that. This is the Minimal Collection. And then this one, which is the Evening Collection. I'm just gonna smell these really quickly because I think, I think if I do it one by one, this video, is gonna come out being like ridiculously long. I almost wanna just rip it because it's not like I'm gonna return it. So let's see what we got. All right, so the first thing, ooh, I kinda sprayed it. Oh, <laughs> like it just smells so good. So the first one is, oh, so this is called Red Vanilla, and it smells so good. Does it describe, like, that's the only thing. It doesn't really describe, like, what the scents are like, but this Red Vanilla kind of has, like, a lemony, florally kind of scent. It smells really good. Then you have Nuit. Oh, 
and new IT, this is definitely an evening smell. Like, when I was, when I'm, like, it took a while for me to get into fragrances. I had bad experiences growing up. Um, but, like, you almost can smell what a fragrance, like a night fragrance smell, like an evening fragrance smells like and what a daytime fragrance smells like. And this definitely smells like evening. Like, it's stronger, but it's not too strong. It's, it's good. Like, it's like a nice, strong, like a soap, like a bar of soap. Ugh, it just smells so good. I stink at like describing these scents, but Violet Blossom. Mmm. Coumarin, it's saying. Mmm. Like this smells good, but I would definitely do like the Red Vanilla and the NUIT before that. And the Nuit, I think that's how you say it. Nuit? That was the best one thus far. Next we have Black Amber. Let's see what we got. Oh, I can't really smell it. Let's see. I'm going to spray this one a little. Like, like you can smell it, but you can't. Definitely musky. Like, it almost has like a musky scent. I don't know. We'll come back to that one. We'll come back to Black Amber. I can't really smell much of it right now, but... Oh, no, it smells good. Oh, it's definitely like luxury evening, kind of. Like I'm going out to dinner, dinner with like a beautiful long satin dress. Maybe black with like some silver accessories, diamonds even. Oh, this smells so good. Like... Yeah, this this one, maybe that's why like you almost had to put it on your skin. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Black Amber, that one, that one was nice. Like that was really, that was good. All right, so let's try the Minimal Collection. In these, in this set you get Orchid, Orchid Intense, Gardenia, Ruby Berry. So, sounds very floral. I don't know if I'm a floral kind of girl. Like, I don't know. I don't know. So let's see. Did I break my nail? No, I didn't. All right, let's see what we got here. So, Orchid. I'm probably gonna just spray them right here. Yeah, these are like, these are floral. Like, like it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like spring and summer. Like it's not bad. It's really not bad. It's just they're florally. All right, so that was Orchid. Let's try Orchid Intense. Ooh, so this so, all right, I feel like I've smelled this recently. It was the Louis Vuitton California Dreams. Dreaming California, California Dreams. Dreaming California. Yes. Yep. So, this almost smells like that Louis Vuitton California Dreams. Sunset California, something California from the Louis Vuitton fragrances. Oh. It's like a fl musky floral scent. I like this one. Okay, so this, like I like almost like that musky scent. Like not too strong, but like you know it's kind of musky, if that makes sense. And yeah, the Orchid Intense does that. Uh, let's try Garden Gardania. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. How do I describe that? Like, I don't know. Like a strong floral. Like, um, you know when you go, when you get flowers and like when you get a bouquet of flowers and you is it over time like that one period of time where it's almost like pungent in a sense that's what this is like a pungent bouquet of flowers it's not awful but you'll know you have a fragrance on if that makes sense like I don't know, like a pungent bouquet of flowers is what that one smells like. And then ruby berries. Lord, I hope this is not floral. Again, I don't mind. Like I'm not, they don't smell awful, but I don't care for that floral, floral scent. All right, it's floral. It's like very sweet is what I want to say. It's sweet, but not bad. Like, I don't know, like, Sweet enough to attract mos like in like bugs like mosquitoes kind of like yeah sweet enough to attract mosquitoes. You'll smell nice, but it, it's sweet. It's like a sweet sweet. It's a sweet scent. I don't mind any of them. I probably I would have to be very mindful as to where I wear them because yeah. In the summer especially, like, I smell that and I'm like, yep, I'm going to get mosquito bites. Like, that's how they smell. All right, this next one, and I'm sorry if this video got a little bit long because of the fragrances. Um, but I wanted to share it and explain kind of the scents to you guys. Because sometimes I go on these sites and I'm looking for fragrances and I'm like, okay, what does it smell like? Especially, like, how, as you just saw, Zara have... They have these fragrances, but they don't necessarily explain what, actually I'm lying. So this one, this one I'm going to be sharing with you guys, the Nude Collection. I don't know if someone told Zara this or they decided to mix it up a little bit, but on this one they kind of have like these little um, sections right here. If you can see that, it kind of describes what the scent is so let's see what we got but yeah let me just finish that other piece i want to share with you guys the scents in case you're looking for fragrances on zara zara sometimes has dupes to certain fragrances and i just wanted to like explain or kind of explain because i'm not fully explaining some of the fragrances and what you're gonna get so yes again this is the nude collection and the first one I'm going to try is Deep Garden. On here it says, I'm the first notes of spring. So let's see. That one's nice. It's like, it's, it's a little floral, what I say? Yeah, but fresh, like fresh fresh flowers kind of yeah with like fresh flowers and like some wind if that makes sense like picture yourself outside around flowers and then the wind is just coming like that's what this smells like I like this I just like the vibe that I feel when I smell it the next one is lightly bloom this one says, I'm delicious and tender. I'm delicious and tender. Let's see. Mm. Okay, so. Oh, how do I describe this? Reminds me of a fragrance. I just can't nail it. Oh, 
my god what is it I can't even I can't nail it but it smells so good it's like oh, it's fresh like it's it's fresh like it says I'm delicious and tender like I can almost I almost understand what they mean by it like it's like a fresh clean clean air smell yeah fresh clean air that smells nice I like that the next one is nude bouquet and it says I'm fresh cozy and vi vibrant let's see cuz the other one did felt like smell like fresh and clean and airy I'm fresh cozy and vibrant fresh cozy yep I can see that I can see every single thing they just said it's fresh but there's like some warmth which I think is where like the coziness is coming from and it's not subtle like like lightly bloom like lightly bloom and, and nude bouquet can almost be the same scent because they have that fresh scent but nude bouquet is almost a little stronger and I think that's where the vibrance is coming from like it stands out more oh, I like this one the nude collections it like I like the evening collection but it's just that it's evening like if I'm looking for something for a day I like this I like this collection so next we have cashmere rose it says I'm soft and charming let's see okay like this is I'm out in the mall I'm out shopping and you know when someone walks by you and you're like oh that was sweet like like what's that sweet scent that just passed me like yeah I'm soft and charming yeah like what's that sweet scent that just I like it cashmere rose I'm liking these it's very summery like every time I smell them I smell them with a lot of Sun either sunshine or like natural light inside a building like smells good I like it lastly we have fields at nightfall I'm a known but mysterious place let's see fields at nightfall I don't know if you guys are gonna like this fragrance section but whoo I'm loving these I'm loving these scents fields at nightfall hmm. I'm a known but mysterious Mm -mm. like it's musky but it's not like you can smell the musk but you can't is that what they mean I'm a known but mysterious place but what place is it I'm a known but mysterious place oh. it's musky I like this like by the fireplace I almost feel like is it by the fireplace or whispers in the library let's see I so I shared this in my vlog I, I actually have the big ones to a couple of these now because I love what I was smelling um so I went and got the big ones but because it's easier for me to smell it I feel like is this one all right is this one by the fireplace let's see let's see no no it's not by the fireplace is it whispers I think it's whispers in the library that this smells like so feels at nightfall and then we're gonna do whispers in the Okay, I think that's what it is. 
No. <laughs> oh my god, the replica sense. I know this is a Zara thing, but oh, they smell so freaking good. <sighs> Feels at the nightfall. It's like it's closer to is it jazz club I think it's jazz club that it smells okay it might be jazz club so it's between jazz club by the fireplace and whispers in the library feels at nightfall oh I love it I'm here for it it smells so good oh these fragrances guys I have become or I've I'm now obsessed kind of with fragrances and Lord knows I, at this point I think you guys also know that when I become obsessed with fragrances or when I become obsessed with anything you tend to start seeing that on my channel um, so we shall see because I'm really loving fragrances and I wanted to try out like the Zara fragrances um, which ones did I I ordered recently YSL um, YSL the Giorgio Armani my way so good so good like it's like delicious I, I I never pictured myself using that term or that word but yeah it's good it's good I like the Giorgio Armani, Armani my way um, what else I think I got a couple more things we'll see when it comes in if you're interested in checking out that video when those pick when those items come in I'll probably make a video on it just sharing with you guys like the fragrances and hopefully they kind of explain it a little bit so I could explain it to you all a little bit better as well um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video please remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others love yourself and love others as well remember to also follow me on Instagram at Carla.Simon19 see you in the next video Oh,